Hello friends, welcome once again to Andy Tech Cyber Channel. So on this channel, I create videos on how we can stay secure over the internet. So basically, I I do um cyber security awareness. I create cyber security awareness. You know, as a, an upcoming um cyber security professional, I've realized majority of the people out there fall prey to certain um cyber security attacks just because they are ignorant of how they can protect themselves and so um i decided to uh to create this channel to educate the public out there so that together we can stay secure over the internet now i real quick i created a video on why anybody out there who is who is uh, in their native country would want to study abroad or embark on the study abroad journey so uh if you are international student wherever you are in ghana Nigeria, Italy, wherever you are, if you want to embark on a study abroad uh, journey and you're really confused as to where to start from and why uh, you have to, I just created a video last week. Kindly go have a look at the video. Now back to the uh, back to the uh, the lecture, right? So um, today's video, the title is software updates. I'm gonna talk about why it's important for us to regularly update our system and our softwares. Now, someone would ask, how, how is just a normal update going to protect us from hackers? Now, at the end of this um, little uh, lecture, I would say uh, we will understand why it's really important and how that can pr uh, protect a system uh, uh, from hackers. Now, when we say you are updating a system, basically, it means you're moving from an older version of that system to a newer version. Basically, in simple terms, that's what an update is, or a software or an application update is, to move from an older version of, of that particular software to a newer version, right? Basically. Now, how or why is that uh, important? Now, what are some of the reasons why updates come up? Now, one is to add extra features to a system, so I'm going to explain that. Now, the two is to fix a bug in the system. Now, when we say a bug, basically it's an error. So we update our system to fix errors in, in that particular system or application or software. Now, the third part, which is that's really important to me, is to patch a security vulnerability in the app or that particular system. So I'm going to explain or throw more light on that. Now, when we say you update the software to add extra feature to it, basically it means you are enhancing on the efficiency, right? And then the functionality of that particular system. For instance, I remember when I started using WhatsApp, there was nothing like WhatsApp status. There wasn't anything like that. But before doing this video, I did a little research. And um, in 2017, that's when WhatsApp um, released the newer version with the status feature, right? Now, with this little explanation or uh, example, anybody who used WhatsApp, the older version of WhatsApp then, and had not updated the, uh, the, to the newer version, would have still not gotten that uh, status feature. Now, this is what happens. Day in, day out, um, technology evolves, right? That's why we have iPhone 10, iPhone 10 Plus, iPhone, iPhone uh, 11, etc. Now, when uh, developers or organizations, when they sit up, they come up with a system, they plan on how they can improve upon that by adding features. Now, when they add a new feature to that particular system, they release the newer version. So it's incumbent on all their users to update that particular system. Now, when you update, basically it means you are installing the newer version. So once you install the newer version, all the newer uh, features they've added to the older version, right? You get access to them. So that's one reason why we have to update our system. Now, the second reason why we update our system is to fix a bug. Now, anytime a company, for example, like Google, Amazon, etc., anytime a company comes up with a software, they constantly, you know, perform testing on that software. So um, testing is basically to identify if there is an error somewhere 
or sometimes let's say a part of a system would, would stop working let's say for instance whatsapp we all view whatsapp status no i remember at the point one day whatsapp stopped working now that meant there was a bug there was an error somewhere so in that case the developers of whatsapp will have to sit identify what the errors were and then come up with a solution so once the solution comes up then they'll release a newer version of whatsapp so when they released it we all had to update our whatsapp now once it was updated the error was fixed so when like if you're using a software or a system and there is an error somewhere and the developers come up with the newer version with uh with that error fixed if you don't update your software if you don't update it it means you still have the older version with the error on there but once you update it that means you get the newer version with a fixed you know um yeah with a bug fixed so it's what this one of the reason why we have to update or why we uh, we update softwares operating systems applications etc so it's really important updating softwares or even the apps on our phones it's important to constantly and regularly update them so that if even there is an error somewhere you are sure right you are sure that that error is, is it's not gonna affect you because it's being fixed you have the newer version so it's really important now the third part which actually is the main focus of this video is to patch security vulnerability now when we say vulnerability in cyber security is basically the weakness in a particular system or the weakness in an application or the weakness in the software now we can see on the screen let's say you're you're living in the house right and then your house is, is a gated community and you have all your doors locked but let's say for some reason the door handle on your uh, window gets broken and as a result you're not able to close it or lock it now when you sleep at night and the burglar comes going around your house what the burglar is trying to find is is there or are there any weakness in this house are there any way i can enter into this uh, this particular house now what will happen when the burglar comes and find out that your window is opened it means that's a weakness right so the burglar would penetrate through or get into your house through the window because that is a weakness now how how are you going to solve that particular problem so we come to that now when we say um, vulnerability in a system day in day out what hackers do is they run various scans on softwares now they before a hacker will try to assess your system they need to first identify are there any vulnerabilities are there any weakness in this particular system in this person's phone or in this person's computer now when the hacker the, when they perform all their scanning and they're able to identify a weakness then it means they'll exploit it now when we say exploit it means they'll take advantage of that weakness and enter into your system right now this is what happens day in day out organizations they have various teams cyber security teams and i am um, actually aspiring to be a penetration tester uh, after school now hackers uh, sorry uh penetration testing basically refers to a process whereby an ethical hacker or a white hat hacker right legally so with permission given tries to break or hack into an organization system now the main focus of a penetration testing uh job or the penetration testing activity is is for the hacker to identify any weakness or vulnerability in that particular application or software or system right and so once the uh, ethical hackers identify the vulnerabilities then they'll report to the owner of that software or the organization hey so we performed vulnerability testing or we we, we did a penetration test on your software and we've realized that A, B, and C 
their weakness, weaknesses on the system. Yeah. So if a hacker identifies these A, B, C weakness, weaknesses, then he or she will be able to break into the system and steal people's data or information. Now, once the, eth once the ethical hackers uh, come up with these vulnerabilities and they suggest solutions. Now, when they suggest the solutions, the owners of these softwares patch up those solutions or those vulnerabilities. When I say they patch up, it means they, they try to protect right, or address the security vulnerability in that particular system. Now, when they come up with a solution and they implement the solution, now what that means is all the, all the users of that particular system using the older versions are vulnerable to a hacker getting access to their system, right? So for example, just an example, let's say there is a vulnerability in WhatsApp. Now, and then the penetration testers in WhatsApp are able to identify, oh, so there is this vulnerability in WhatsApp. If you don't patch up this vulnerability, then everybody using WhatsApp can be hacked by a hacker. Now, once the, uh, once the pen testers come up with these you know, suggestions, like I said earlier, the organization works on you know, solving that particular you know, um, vulnerability. So when we say patch, basically when a part of your shirt is, is, is being torn, right? You can just get a cloth, you sew, and then you patch it up. So that's that's the whole concept, right? So I said, organization performs vulnerability penetration testing on their apps, software, it is regular, like regularly. And when they found any vulnerability, they solve it. That's what I mean by they patch it. Now, after they've been able to solve it, they release a newer version of the old, you know, system or software. Now, when that happens, it means it's incumbent on all the users to update it. Now, if you don't update it and you keep on using the older version, a hacker will be able to identify that you are using the older version of this particular system or application. Now, when the hacker identifies that, then what is going to happen is he or she will, will uh, focus on the vulnerability and then will take advantage and hack into your system. Now, this is what happens when you update the older version to a newer version. Now, the, all these vulnerabilities will be closed. Those window, you know, like the example I cited earlier, you know, that window when now you call it a carpenter and then the carpenter works and fix, uh, fix the handle. Next time when you're sleeping because it's fixed, you just close it and lock it. When the burglar comes around, the burglar will not be able to enter. Why? Because now you fixed the error or you fix the weakness. So it is really important for every individual to constantly and regularly update the apps on your phone, the software you're using on your computers, and even the operating systems. So um, I just want to end here and lay much emphasis on the fact that day in, day out, make sure you are updating your system. Make sure you're updating your softwares. Make sure you're updating the applications you use on your phones. When you do that, it goes a long way to protect you and protect your, your data from being stolen, right? So thank you very much. I think this is, is going to be the end. Now, someone would say, how can I update my operating system? So for example, if you want to pre, uh, update your operating system, I have something small here. So you can go to settings, then you go to Windows Update, right? So settings windows update and then you can select automatic updates you can just take that and when it happens that way anytime there's a newer version of the operating system it's going to be updated automatically also you can do that manually you just have to be conscious day in day out you make sure you update it yourself also when it comes to the apps for example on phones when you go to app store on iphone you see all the outdated apps and then you can update them on Play Store for the Android users. Make sure all the time you go to Play Store, you check all the outdated apps and then you update them. 
and also on your software for example on the computer whatever software you're using one 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 part of the software you can find the the update option is mostly at the uh, about tab so you identify where the about tab is and then you update it so um this is all i wanted to share please constantly regularly update your systems when you do that it will go a long way to protect you and protect your data stay secure the channel is anti tech server channel kindly do subscribe and also uh, share the video together let's create this awareness thank you very much and i would say i am um the whole purpose of this video like i always say is for educational purposes and nothing else just to create awareness and then to help us all stay secure thank you very much and uh god bless you see you next time bye